Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jerry with the GT Coalition. Today we're going to be checking out the Redmond Bike Park here um, over in Redmond, Washington, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty organized park. Uh, a lot of the trails are just sampled out right now. Um, it's it's like a, a thing, if, like it's, it's a really great place if you live in Redmond and you're just looking for some somewhere really nice and tidy to pedal around your bike. I'm going to give you guys a trail tour. We're going to hit it up on my GT Zasker Carbon Pro. And uh, I'll kind of walk you through it. Some of these trails, they're doing construct or they're doing some still trail work and uh, sampling a few of them. They're a little bit rough. Uh, and so I think, you know, obviously they've kind of been worn in. But we're going to go on a fun little um, trail tour. It's going to be real short. Like I think overall you're looking at like less than a mile if you... Well, I did a few of these, but um, hang tight, and uh, I'll strap on the camera to my chest, and then I'll, we'll just do a quick little tour, so hang on. Hey guys, what's up? We're going to do, uh, we're going to go into tour, or we're on the Redmond Bike Park Tour. We're going to check out a few of these trails, and uh, first one, the first one to do is uh, Easy A. That one's rough. That one's really abrupt. <laughs> Parkour. Yeah, these uh, trails are, the jump line's rough. <laughs> Now we'll just check out walking off. It's got a lot of skinnies. That aren't too high. And you know they kind of carve in. That's pretty neat. They got a donut or wrong way particularly for this one, but you can loop around on the outskirts, which is pretty good too. Um, they have a double black diamond trail, or no, it's not black diamond, it's a harder line, but it actually feels pretty rough. Like even doing a lot of the BMX racing, I find that these jumps are pretty like rough. Uh, if anybody races SeaTac or something, you'd find it's a lot, a lot smoother. And I think it's just because, you know, these have, uh, it's near the winter. So these, have, these jumps have definitely seen some mileage. Um, but yeah, for sure. Some of the lips are just so jagged that when you go off them, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> So, I uh, kind of going on the outskirts, like a south line here. Um, I guess they call, uh, uh, and then you know the shred down things. Like if you, if you look at them, uh, the harder lines a little bit, a little bit easier to get into. It just the entries are are pretty rough in like on that one it it goes up real smooth then it just hits this like 90 what feels like a really steep wall so it's not a real smooth transition and neither is the other one so i think they have a trail build party that's uh scheduled i know the pump track is currently closed due to weather uh and this is like what is it uh mid week of october right now so 
of 2018 in case you're watching this in 2020 but I think this is a good place to ride if you're kind of um, like just looking to put in some miles and uh, in miles in a very short way like if you just wanted to go for a quick spin and uh, play around a bit but other than that it's uh, kind of a hard sell uh, but it's, it's definitely for sure I would love a place I'd love for uh, if Colonnade was like this would be awesome uh, but you know obviously the community keeps it pretty clean uh, you don't really encounter uh, there aren't any transients here that's for sure there isn't litter um, yeah this uh, this community really cares about this this place and uh, it shows and how they care for it like maybe you'll find a gun wrapper or a receipt but you're not finding the levels of trash that you normally find and like unfortunately like a colonnade for example so you know oh yeah here's the pump track I'm talking about because due to weather and everything's pretty well marked I actually like this pump track it's actually really one of my it's actually one of my favorite pump tracks um, you know like I would say you know when it's when this one's actually open the pump track here is it's pretty good like it's one of my favorite ones um, you can get some it's better than the one at Duthie uh, that's for sure like any of them uh, it's got a good rhythm and flow to it so I believe because this place is so tiny uh, but it's kind of a nice little getaway if you just need like a 30 minute just ride break or something and you live in a Redmond area like close to this place um, but other than that I don't if you lived in like Renton or Seattle I don't think it's worth the drive up here but if you live pretty close to this place I think it's it's a really great place to kind of just set your um, play just play around for sure uh, but other than that I think that's really my tour there's usually like a lot more content but I mean we just rode around the outer perimeter right now so that's why but anyway this is you're you're on YouTube with the GT coalition thanks for hanging out um, yeah uh, stay tuned I'll be doing another trail tour somewhere I think I'm gonna break down black or not black diamond but um, tape on for you guys in the upcoming future so stay tuned for that I will see you guys soon all right bye.